Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a random review. It's Christmas season. I'm reviewing Candy Cane Lane. So this is written by Kelly Younger, directed by Reginald uh, Hublin, starring of course Eddie Murphy, uh, Teresa Ellis Ross, Gillian Bell, uh, Phidias J. Mixon, Ken uh, Marino, uh, Travet Rhodes, uh, David Allen Geary, and Nick Offerman. Did I mention Gillian Bell's in this? Well, I have now. So this is a family Christmas comedy where Eddie Murphy plays Chris Carver who has been laid off work and finds that you know that there's a hundred thousand dollar cash prize for the best Christmas decorated house and then he comes across this woman named Pepper played by Gillian Bell who promises him that he can win this contest and also gives him this display of the 12 days of Christmas that accidentally get out and come alive and he has to get all of them by Christmas Eve or he will turn into a into like a ornament doll on her Christmas display which many of us have also met that fate and we get some comedy quirks in there some Christmassy vibes uh, and stuff, even a black Santa as well, because we get Santa in this, played by um, Alan, uh, David Alan Greer. So what did I like about this movie? Well, I like that they took the, Chris the classic Christmas Carol, 12 Days of Christmas. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting a bit hot in this hat. 12 Days of Christmas, and he had to then try and get all them together that all had a gold ring that he needed to stop, needed to collect to deem them back in there and they all play mischievous minion parts for the real antagonist that's Pepper played by Gillian Bell and we see the evil you know mischievous ones like the three French hens you know he catches the two turtle doves very easily and the partridge in a pear tree and not only that he has to get all the rings and you bet you're thinking there's only five gold rings but it all turns out that the song always repeats as you go back down them. So technically he has to get 40 rings together and well does he do it? I can't tell you that you gotta watch but it's a Christmas movie for the family what do you think? Uh, but yeah I liked Eddie Murphy he seems to have made a comeback in recent years not as many movies as he used to do because you know I'm sure he's earned his way to semi-retirement the guy's 62 after all i think definitely over 60 and um you know he was all right in this playing a family man who you know tries to do good by his family and in the end you know they learn the valuable lesson that family if there's love and family you can get through anything which is quite true i also like the spin they did on christmas i mean yeah a spin on santa claus I'm like, okay, you know what, the hell with it, you know, it's the 21st century, Santa could look like anyone else, so if it's a mantle or a title passed on, why the hell not? I mean, the real Saint Nicholas, I believe, was Turkish anyway. Um, so, yeah, it, it was an entertaining film, and we had a few good giggles and laughs. Um, this film's about two hours long, it's 120 minutes, so a two hour runtime, but... I feel those two hours fly by quickly. We get a few mid credits in there. We get some outtakes as the credits roll, and we get the usual, you know, the full Christmas package. And that will get now on my negatives because I do have a few small negatives on this one. I do feel this was your typical run-of-the-mill Christmas film where it's one guy. He learns the value of family and Christmas and stuff, and the spirit of Christmas. It's just very predictable on how this unfolds because you know pretty much what's going to happen. Which I thought there's nothing fresh there, but 
I do like the premise with the 12 days of Christmas. I don't think I've ever seen a film do that before, that classic Christmas carol, and that is one of my favourite ones. I mean, we got 12 drummers drumming, 11 pipers piping, 10 lords leaping, 9 ladies dancing, 8 maids are milking, 7 swans are swimming, 6 geese are laying, 5 golden rings, uh, 4 calling birds, 3 French hens, 2 turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Yeah, I remember all that. <laughs> um, but still, it's it's an okay film. It's on Amazon Prime, so it's been on there since December 1st, so... If you want to check it out, it's on there if you've got Prime, so yeah. Uh, ratings, what am I going to rate this one? I think I will give Candy Cane Lane... I'll give it 3.5 out of 5. I think that's rating enough. 3.5 out of 5 for Candy Cane Lane. So there you go, there is my review on this one. Have you seen it? Do let me know down in the comments below and if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also if you love festive horror stuff i have a channel for that too linked down below so you can check all that out so yeah i've been random ross this has been a random review from candy cane lane so until next time i bid you all a goodbye friends goodbye